Hi Mike, welcome to my home setup. What you need, a load of really good balls and a table tennis bat of course. Then you need a table like this, normal setup except for what's going on up here. So this is just a bounce backboard, um, it's just a very thin piece of MDF but you could use plastic laminate, my table's plastic laminate and the idea is that you get a really good bounce off it. And it's just held on by sash clamps. So there's the sash clamp, it happens to go all the way, it doesn't need to, it just provides a weight so, so any ball could hit this really hard and it's not going to tip over. I do have a couple of little clamps at the back, they're just tiny little things but they're never used really, they're just in case. Um, and then I have a pair of tracksuit bottoms, old tracksuit bombs, where I've cut out the, the legs and they just act as a ball stop so that when the ball goes dead it doesn't run under here and then you go chasing balls. So that's the setup, it's really simple. Because these are sash clamps, then you can just adjust them by taking off here and placing them, doing them up at the bottom. By doing that, it will rotate the board back to more vertical, or you can raise both of them up to here, and then you'll create a really steep angle, which is really hard to keep the training going. Uh, I'm on about this setting at the moment. I've never had it much above here, and if it goes to the bottom, that's it's not just that it's too easy then, um, because that's where I used to recommend you start, but actually if you hit it at any pace the ball will fly back over the top, so that will come out in the demonstration that I do. So this is just a demonstration of how to start. You're not doing a normal serve to start, this isn't about serving, this is about just keeping long rallies going and practicing your shot technique. So how do you start? You don't start by serving onto your side, you can either bounce it and then go over like this. So that's how you start, or it doesn't really matter how you start, you do it straight out of your hands. And when you're starting for the very first time, probably the best way to start is to more or less guide the ball onto your bat, but I don't do that anymore. But so long as you can keep it going, that's all that matters. And then as I say, you can bounce it on the floor. So that's the forehand start, the backhand is exactly the same, bounce or straight out of the hand and just get the ball going. This is the demonstration of a longer rally hopefully. Now I start with two balls in the hand because I just want to maximise the amount of time the ball's in play. So just start with one in the hand at the start until you're used to it. But I'm going to bounce it, get it going, and then I'm going to fail. And when the ball fails, unless it lands on the floor, just leave it. So it's a start, and we'll practice the forehand say. And we get it to fail in Oh, there we go, it's failed. So just leave it, it'll hopefully roll off to the side, and then you can just get the second one that was in the hand going. And then you can move to backhand. of the angle of the backboard. So what you'll see is that I've lowered 
the sash clamps, they're now really, really low. And what that does is it turns this into a right angle. The higher they go, the more of a, the way this turns into a acute angle and brings that forward. So now because this is vertical, what's going to happen is as you put top spin, this is all about top spin practice on the forehand and backhand and only top spin. And what will happen is the ball will spin forward, rotate, 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 hit the board and flip up. And because it's quite vertical and you're doing top spin, it'll flip quite long. So you can't afford to put too much power in it, otherwise it'll go over the end of the table. As soon as you get really good and you're putting in really strong top spin, then instead of dumbing down your stroke, you just rotate this forward and it really challenges your ability to hit with power and spin. But this is the vertical one, so if I can get it going, I'll try. And, and that just took me totally by surprise. It flipped right up and came right to the end. So you can just see that effect that I was talking about. So have it on that second at the start. That is super weird. Have it on that second at the start, and now I'm going to demonstrate where I am, which is the, the more tipped forward one. So we just demonstrated a really vertical backboard. Uh, this time the uh, sash clamps are raised higher, which has brought it forward. So now you can really get some top spin on, and it won't shoot off the end of the table too much. So it's just a case of getting the rallies going, and it's either. See that one's gone over the back, so it's not a bad shot as such, it's just too powerful for the angle. But doing this, you can really practice your footwork, your top spin. And changing between forehand and backhand. Is for it not to hit the side ever, so even when it returns. The idea now is to hit with such force and top spin that the ball comes back at this height here and then you smash it again, ideally with the ball coming back here. And you can actually keep, I think the most I've done is about 12 or 16 consecutive, something like that. I've never gone above 20 on this. And the idea is just to keep smashing at this height. You get very little time. And the idea is that you often find yourself with the ball coming at this height in a match and it's very easy to fluster because you don't actually ever practice that. So that's what this is about. Then you can practice any mix, um, like we saw earlier. You can go forehand, backhand, backhand, forehand, 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 backhand, or just keep this going on forehand, raise one up with a nice little top spin, and then transition into smashes and even bring it back down. Well, you've got this setup out, and by that I mean something that's going to just stop the balls just spilling all over the table. Just get your pot of balls, why not practice your serves? This is something completely different. So whatever your serve is, just see what you can do with it. Whatever spins you want to put on, just have a practice. And really I'm not demonstrating anything except just the convenience of having something that's not going to lose all your balls. Happy table tennising.